People can argue with your facts all day, but they can't argue with your experience or your story. When you present your case as information, statistics, or data to be digested, people often move into analysis mode. Lights go on, wheels whir in an attempt to take the other tack and prove you wrong. But when you offer an illustration or personal experience, they relax, they listen for the idea. Your stories might include humorous anecdotes, or just a slice of everyday life, or maybe a success story, or even a failure story. <laughs> Lots of lessons come from those too. Think theme. Shakespeare had his 26 plot lines. Business storytellers have their favorite key themes and initiatives from year to year, like the customer's always right, or quality is our number one goal, or people are our most valuable assets. Whatever that theme, keep it in mind and identify an appropriate story to illustrate that point. What customer in incident could you relate to your staff to persuade them to act out that recommendation or act on that recommendation? What personal experience could you tell your staff that would help them create that value in their performance? And then identify the punchline. It may be funny, dramatic, sad, shocking. Th that's where you want to end the story. Everything needs to build up to that point. Say the punch word and that punch line last. And then set up the story in an intriguing way. Don't wave a flag by saying, let me tell you a story that illustrates why I think blah, blah, blah. Instead, just say something like, honesty can kill your business. Last week, I made the mistake of being honest with one of our suppliers about X. Then Tuesday of this week, he called me and you're off into the story. Whatever setup you use should make people say, hmm, tell me more.